Enjoy the content. Swipe right on iOS. Swipe up on Android to invite your followers on Twitter and on Periscope. Welcome, welcome. So many people are joining in. I'm Lakeisha Riddick. Yay, happy hump day. Lakeisha Riddick, blogger, online talk radio show host of Share My World Show. I blog and scope about my faith weight loss journey. God helping me to release the weight so that I can be free and realize and know my freedom in Christ. And you can find my blog at sharemyworldshow.com. Hey, Smoke Bowls. And my YouTube channel, Share My World Show. I archive all of my Periscope videos. So you can go there and check them out, subscribe. Thanks for the hearts, Sherm. And you can like and comment on the videos. So tonight, I wanted to talk about, this is a topic here, okay? I, I tell you guys sometimes I wake up on one, right? This topic is what? When... <laughs> This is something right here. When you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. Anybody heard of, heard of that phrase? Thank you so much for the hearts. So I got up this morning and I was just thinking about life. Like I said, I'm on day 162 of this journey. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. And, you know, just thinking about, okay, is every day going to be like this? Is Hey, Shonda, thanks for joining in. What's going to happen? Is it going to get better? Am I going to have to be dealing with these thoughts and, you know, these different types of trials and tribulations, as the elders would say? And, you know, God told me, yes. <laughs> He's like, as long as you are in this flesh, this body, and here on this earth, you will encounter trials and tribulations and adversity. Hey, how you doing? It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Okay? As believers, if you're a believer, you know, sometimes we get confused, right? And we think that, oh, we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. Everything's fine. There's no problems. No, that's not the case here. Okay? The problems are even more uh, coming towards your way because the enemy knows that, oh, wait a minute, this person realizes who they are in Christ or wants to know and know that they have a purpose, know they have a destiny here on this earth as well as in the, um, the hereafter. Oh, no, because we know that it's not just about us. Just like I'm sharing with you, I share my story with you guys to encourage and inspire you to do your thing, to, to fulfill your calling on earth as well. So the enemy knows it. He knows that if we realize who we are, hey, Karina, that we are not going to sit back and be dormant anymore, that we are a real what threat to him. So he's going to do his stuff. I always tell people, the enemy, Satan, Beelzebub, devil, whatever you want to call him, he is on his job 24-7. His job is to steal, to kill, and destroy. He's not sitting back thinking, oh, Lakeisha is a believer, and look at her. She's doing great on this journey. So I'm just going to leave her alone and go on to the next one. No, he's going to keep trying to bombard me and to thwart me from doing what I'm doing, not just for me, but for all the people that are connected to me. So when I got up this morning and I thought about that, I said, God, well, what are you trying to say? God is saying, the world is not getting better. All you got to do is read the Bible. I mean, read the Bible, look at Revelations. The world is not getting better. But guess what's supposed to be getting better? You, you, me, we're supposed to become better. We're supposed to become better in terms of what? Realizing our freedom, knowing who we are in Christ and being able to stay ready, not get ready. Every time something happens, we're going to jump. We're going to move. We're going to bo bob and weave. No, Well, sometimes we don't even bob and weave because we're blindsided. Like, oh, my God, something just happened here. I didn't realize it. No, we're supposed to be on the offense, not on the defense waiting to be, like, knocked down. We're supposed to be on the offense. So that's what God was telling me. To stay ready means to be on the offense. To stay ready means you are armed, you're guarded, you know what's going on, you're sensitive, you're aware, you're discerning, and that you are ready for war. This is this is not a play play thing here. I know sometimes we belittle it and say, oh yeah, okay. No, this is warfare, spiritual warfare, and we have to be ready. So you know I have a, a movie for you, right? Anybody out there watch The Matrix? That's another one of my favorite movies. Hey two fish five loaves. Another one of my favorite movies. If you haven't watched The Matrix any one of the, the trilogy, stop it right now. Don't listen any further. <laughs> you can come back. I'm not going to be mad. You can come back <laughs> and check out the replay. I told you I archive it on YouTube, right? You can check it out. So I'm telling you now, I'm going to give you a little spoilers. But God showed me this in terms of 
to stay ready, right? So you won't have to get ready in terms of the Matrix. There's a whole bunch of symbolism in that movie. Yes, go watch it. Excellent, excellent movie. We own all three. And I mean, you can watch it and see something different every time. So here's the deal. Neo is the main character in the movie, and he has a, some unique gifting, some unique skills. And these people that um, are trying to, to find the one to break down this whole entity, this matrix, this false, you know, um, entity kind of thing, right? Okay, so reality. And he does not believe that he's the one. So he doesn't believe it. He's just like, okay, yeah, right, I don't believe it. Hey, Karina. So finally, they kind of get him into the crew. I'm giving you a short version here. And there's two scenes I'm going to tell you about. And I'm going to upload these scenes, links to these scenes on my YouTube channel so you can actually see them. Or if you want to, you can look for them yourself. Neo um, is a training scene with Morpheus. And the second scene I'm going to talk about, I'll tell you that in a second. So with this training scene, prior to that, like, like I said, he's understanding, you know, he's getting the knowledge, right? They download, this is in the, in the movie, they download a gazillion different types of styles of fighting, right? And then he actually gets to do a spar fight, the spar fighting with Morpheus, who was this leader of this group. Man, seeing the scene, he's going fighting or whatever, and then Morpheus is like, just hit me. And he's just fighting, fighting, fighting. He's All these things were downloaded to him. Now he's putting them into practice. But here's the one line that's like one, I mean, there's many lines in the movie that's the best. But one line, right, he says, listen, he says, I'm trying to free your mind. Okay, see that freedom thing again? Free your mind. He's like, Neil, but I can only show you the door but you're gonna have to walk through it. Man, <laughs> this is God. Look okay? at Sparta, right, 300. Here's another movie, Matrix. God is trying to free our minds, right? I tell you that, what, what I always say, renewing of the mind, Romans 12 too. I'm gonna say it again later, but God is trying to renew our mind, free our minds so that we can know who we are and we can walk through the door. Just like how Morpheus was telling Neo, right? But that ain't even it. Okay, so at the end of the movie, like I said, hope you go watch it. I'm telling you some spoilers here. At the end of the movie, it's it's bad, right? I mean, he at every turn, these agents, these are the enemies. And he, Neo, he runs. He runs away from the enemy. You see that? I mean, runs away because he's afraid to die, right? But in the end, he is like, no, I'm not going to run. Right? I mean, I'm giving you, yeah, so we can walk through the door. That's right. We have to walk through the door. Just like I told you the other day, we have the keys to our own freedom, Shonda. We have it. God has given it to us by us accepting Christ, us, us being um, accepted him as Lord and Savior. We have the keys. We have the power to overcome sin. He died on the cross for us for that. But we're still in the jail cell. God is like, the door is open. Get out. Walk. Do it. You know, share, the, share your wisdom. Walk in your freedom. So here's Neo. He's realizing, like, wait a minute. Okay, he's standing up. These agents, which are the enemy, start shooting at him. And man, he just puts his hand up. He says, no. Power. He knows in his mind and he, and he believes. I can say no. He says no, puts his hand up. The bullets fall. And he's just like, oh, shoot. Yes, babe. Put that hand up. He's putting his hands up. Come on, you put your hands up. Bullets are flying? He puts his hands up, hand up. The bullets stop in midair. He takes a bullet, and if and all the rest of them fall down. Do you see that? What, what, what is that symbolism there? None of this is real. None of this is real. We have power. We have more power than we think. Greater is he that is within me and you than he that is within the world. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm not saying that, okay, you don't see things and things aren't happening, but I'm talking about the power that we have. God is like, excuse me, hello. So when Neil did that, it fell, and then the enemies, the agents were like, whoa. So they charged, when the main agent charges at him, and then look what happens. The best scene, right? I'm telling you, Shonda, look at it again. That Neo starts fighting the enemy. And let me tell you, he's using what he's using. He's he's you see him just using his hands, right? But as he's using his hands, he's realizing, oh shoot, look at the power I have. So he puts one hand, he has more power in one hand than this enemy has. In both hands, you are the one. Yes, babe. We are joint heirs with Christ. We are the one. Man. See, oh, my God. Man, in that scene right there, it just it confirmed it today. 
that because look what did Neo had to do? He allowed he had allowed the, the stuff to be downloaded to him, right? He had to practice, and I'm gonna go into I'm just give you the steps a little bit later. He had to practice, right? But he had to actually believe it himself, man. He could not just keep sitting back and being like, I'm going to run. Because that's what he kept doing. If you watch the movie, he kept running. Every time the enemy would chase him, which is the agent, he would run. They'd be like, you got to get back to home base. You got to get back. You got to get back. But what happened? That's the final scene. He said no. And, then he, and, he, and you see him just realizing, wait a minute. And it's like, and then even the agent, yes, belief is a key. Even the agent was like, whoa, he knows what's going on. And then finally he's defeated. So this is my encouragement to you, even to myself. Remember, when I get this stuff, it's not just for me. I'm not going to hold it, you know, hostage. I'm going to release it. I'm going to reveal it to you guys because I want you guys to operate in your freedom, right? The key here is what? Yes, it's belief, babe, but it's also for you staying ready. You can't sit back here and think that this is a believer that, no, you're not going to fight. Man, there's a gazillion people out here that's under the, you know... I don't really know how to even describe it. Under the, the um, being held hostage by the enemy. Even us have been, right? In terms of our minds, our habits, and so on and so forth. We can't keep sitting back thinking that, oh, everything. Hey, Lisa. That, oh, everything's just going to change. Oh, you know what? That, you know, it's just going to, like I told you, the world is not getting better. God wants you to be better. He wants me to be better. He wants us to be working and operating in the knowledge that who we are, believe in who we are. Because if you don't do that, I promise you, you are going, hey, how you doing? You are going to feel defeated. And that's not freedom. That's not freedom to walk around defeated. It's not freedom to walk around in fear and shame and guilt and rejection and low self-esteem. And those are things that I was suffering with. But when I got that word today, stay ready. Meaning like, be on the offense. So every day, even with this weight loss thing that I'm dealing with, right? In terms of me losing the actual physical pounds and the things that I have to go with it. Okay, I know, yes, okay, guys, you can, you know, turn your ears. I have a cycle every month, right? Okay, Lord, help me to, to know how to respond to these sweet and salty cravings. Give me some alternatives. And he is giving me some things, right? Okay, at night, I know my previous habits were get on that couch, veg out, watching TV, eating all kind of stuff. Hey, stay ready. What does stay ready mean? I know I'm going to get on the couch, right? But hey, let me get some alternatives, maybe some fruit, maybe some other things that are healthier, that are in line with what I want. Or what, number two, what if I'm not even hungry? Don't eat. How about that? I don't have to do it just because I'm on the couch. But you see what I'm saying in terms of staying ready. So here's some scriptures to help you stay ready and things to do. Number one, what's my number one thing? Somebody going to tell me? Renew your mind <laughs> daily. Romans 12, 2, renew your mind daily. And I know you're just like, what does that mean? How does it renew your mind daily means that you are choosing to focus on God and believe, you know what? Hey, babe, thanks for joining back in that I am, you know, and that's what I'm saying. So believe it. Okay. That you are born with a purpose. Psalms 139. That's one of my favorite Psalms. I use some of those in my um, declaration. Psalms 139, 13 to the 16th verse. For you formed my inward parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. And my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my unformed substance and in your book were all written the days that were ordained for me when as yet there was not one of them. So if you didn't know before today that you have a purpose, that you are unique, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, I hope you know it right now and go to it yourself. Psalms 139. Read the whole um, um, scripture there. Just like Neil, he didn't know, but he. some people don't know. It's okay. You don't have to know. I'm telling you now. I'm the one, right? This, if you're connected to me, you're listening to me on a replay, you're listening to me live, I'm telling you now, you have a unique calling on this earth. And guess what? You were born to do something that nobody else has ever done before. That's what you would do. I don't know what it is, but you were born to do it. So because of that, you have influence. Yes, everything is already in you. Number two, I mean, number three, believe you are free. Neil, he didn't believe it. He was just like, uh, yeah, okay, I don't know. We are free. What does um, John 8.36 say? Who the Son says free is free indeed. Done. K 
Calvary. He died on the cross. He rose again for us. We have power over sin. We are no longer slaves to sin, meaning that we have no power, that we just have to let the world and everything else just, you know, shake us, right? Mm -mm. And the other, other thing, right? That scripture, Romans 12, too, you talk about the trans being renewed by the transforming of our minds or whatever, but also it says, do not be conformed to the world. So don't worry about what the, what's happening in the world. Okay, don't, I'm not saying be in a cave, okay? But in terms of seeing like, oh man, this is happening, this is happening. No, we have the power to change our response to it. We have the ch power to change our environment and our circle and, and how people, other people respond to it. Okay, the next thing, get your weapons of warfare. Man, let me tell you something. Neo, he had all of those uh, fights downloaded to him, right? But it was nothing if he didn't practice them. I'm going to get to that in a later. So that's Ephesians 6, 13 through 17. You know that's the full armor of Christ, right? So what is it? The gird of your loins with truth, right? Breastplate of righteousness. Put your feet, you know, shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, right? I mean, these are the things that, that God is telling us to do. Again, we're sitting back thinking that, oh, it's good. I'm not, no, you have to do something. You, if, if, if. I'm stuttering, right? Because I'm so excited. If Neo had sat there and kept running from the enemy, never ever realizing who, it was already there. Nothing changed about him. He, had, I mean, okay, nothing changed in the sense that he was the same person. And I guess he had information downloaded to him about the fights, but guess what? He was still the same person, just like you're the same person, just like I'm the same person. Now I'm just being freed. My mind is being freed. My body, my spirit is being freed to walk in it. Thank you for the hearts meditate on the word daily we can't get away from that that's part of the weapons that's part of the arsenal that's part of being able to use it right and that's what joshua the first chapter in the eighth verse and what does that say now you probably know it right what does it say it says this book of the law should not depart from your mouth you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have success but here's the deal you don't have to struggle like everybody did in the Old Testament. We don't have to struggle to be like, oh man, to trying to keep the Lord because our relationship with Christ and the Holy Spirit that he's left here with us will help us to be able to fulfill the law. You see, it's not a, tr a, a struggle, a stronghold because we can't do right. Sorry, that's, that's not in this flesh body for us to do right. But our relationship with Christ, that helps us to do right. And then the last thing, man, you got to practice. And here's the deal. Just like I gave you the examples, right? I know my cycle comes. I know that I get the sweet and salty craving. So why am I going to what? Get ready every month to be like, uh. so I'm like, Lord, help me to stay ready. Let me already have these things, my my tools, my, my weapons in, in my arsenal to be like, man, get out of here. Uh, I'm going to, you know, eat these things or whatever. And okay, I'm talking about weight loss issues, but you guys look at yourself. And talk about whatever it is that you know that you have to fight against. Whatever those triggers are. Whatever's going on where you're like, wait a minute. You know, that causes a, a negative or bad response. And then how you're able to overcome. And you overcome with those those words, right? The, the scriptures. Don't wait. You don't have to wait until something happens and then you respond. So those are the things that I had wanted to share with you tonight. Again, stay ready. You renew your mind daily. You believe that you're born with a purpose, okay? You believe you're free. You get your weapons of warfare. You meditate on the word daily. And you put those weapons to use. You practice them. You know, you practice them. Thank you for the hearts. You practice them. Guess what? On the little things, don't have to wait till the big warfare comes and you're like, oh my God, because what is the little things, the little battles that win the war anyway, right? Like, I'm not going to sit down here and be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to do this. And then, you know, I'm not ready because what? I'm, I'm stayed ready. So I hope you were encouraged by that. I, I was. And again, like I said, I'll upload the video. Amen to the little things. Yes. And I'll upload the video. Excuse me. Um, probably later tonight and you can go check out the links if, if you um hadn't seen it or just wanted to be reminded of those scenes in the movie again i love you know those types of movies 300 braveheart patriot matrix trilogy all kinds of things that you can see symbolism of war conk he has being encouraged and then also being fighters warriors i mean this lifestyle as a christian you can't be you know a coward sorry <laughs> it don't work 
You got to fight. You have to fight. Yes, the battle is the Lord's, but you have to actually, you know, use the weapons that he's given you to fight against the enemy. He's already won. We're already victorious, but you got to do the work. So I hope you're blessed. I hope you do continue to follow me on all social media, Share My World Show, my blog, sharemyworldshow.com. Go check it out. Check out and um, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. So thank you so much for sharing my world. Hope I got my email. See you on Where did you send the email, Shonda? To sharemyworldshow at gmail.com. Just let me know before I get off of here. Share my world show at gmail.com. If you did, I'll check it because I didn't see any notifications um, about it. But, um, oh, okay, contact on the website. Okay, all right, I'll check it and see um, the contact form. Okay, I'll check it and see, Shonda. If not, I'll tweet you um, and give you an another um, maybe direct message you and give you another email all right but thank you so much for sharing my world now go and share your world with others be blessed